Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got Triff versus Pac. It's gonna be Pendulum Magicians versus none other than Sword Soul, baby. Officially starting now! The Remy Court playmat is back in stock. So get your The Remy Court playmat right now. It's back in stock for two days only. So get yours right now, guys. Literally the next 48 hours. Special release, the last time it sold out in three hours. So get yours right now while you can. The beautiful The Remy Court playmat. And let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some The Remy Court pendulums. Maybe I'll make a video on it. And I got to give a massive shout out to the artist of, this, of the The Remy Court playmat. And that is Frankie. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful artwork. I mean, you can tell for yourselves, so make sure to go check it right now down in the description below, tripgaming.com, 48 hours only. Anyways, back to Trip First Pack, let's go. This is gonna be a battle for the ages. Pen God versus YCS Champ. I want you guys to go do me a favor, also go subscribe to Pack. Pack, you know, he's my boy, he's been my boy since day one, so we'll see exactly what his deck does. I want you guys to also just sit back and relax and learn this combo a little bit. Everything Pack is about to do are things that we're gonna need to know any time we face against Jang Jian, Ten Yi, and you have to understand how to play around all of his interruptions, okay? So he's gonna end up searching the pop two card, and that's the biggest issue for pendulums. And this is a huge why reason why we actually, especially post bold, we need to play pendulum call. Like, I understand pen call, you can't pop your own iris, but in scenarios like this, we have to deal with this card that basically destroys two cards I control. And on top of that, banishes a card. On top of that, negates a monster effect. On top of that, I can't even Zeus because it's a light. On top of that, there's a random set. Like, how are you going to deal with all this when you draw a dead trap card here? And like, look, we have no extenders, no nothing. So I want you guys to pay close attention here how we're going to do this. And, and, and exactly my train of thought behind my plays here. So you know that eventually he's going to have to negate a monster effect. Eventually, he's going to be able to banish something. I just want to make sure I can pendulum my scales. So you have to pen call off the top right away to make sure you can at the very least pendulum summon. Because if you could pendulum summon, then you can at least do something. I understand double iris won't be able to get popped, and I probably actually should have searched Black Fang here. If I searched Black Fang here, I could have half the attack of Chao, uh, of, uh, not Chao Fang, of Jian Jian here, and the Grand Duke as well, Grand Duke and Swordmaster here. I could have literally half one of their attack and enter battle and kill them. So you can chalk that, up, chalk that up to a slight misplay. I was hoping to have double iris on the field for the following turn, thinking that he's going to pop both of them on the my next turn, and then I'll be able to search with the double iris. That was my reasoning. Anyways, here we're going to Pendulum 3. So everyone knows what Pearl of Poison does and how much of a problem this could be. He ends up negating the effect of Sork, unfortunately, because he's going to pop my poison. And then on top of that, he's going to banish my double iris. Then he's going to activate Sudden Shift to pop two of my cards. And at this scenario, we have a normal summon, so I activate Oak Dragon's effect here to search for harmonizing, or to add harmonizing, and then I normal summon harmonizing. Now, I recognize at this point that all I gotta do is weaken his field enough to the point where on my turn, Pengraph could kill everything. I don't know he has this follow-up, I don't know anything about this deck whatsoever, but what I do know is that if I go into Time Star here, it would bait an interruption instantly, and then I could attack, go Zeus, and then get my Pengraph. So what I end up doing is I go Time Star, Time Star to Sir Joker, then enter battle to attack Chao Fang. The funny thing is though, is that my is that thanks to the effect of uh of Chiang Yang over here, Time Star actually loses attack. So Time Star would end up losing a few hundred attack. I didn't know this. Neither did Pac. So he ends up ensuring that uh that my attack doesn't go through. And he droplets to get rid of the droplets on Chao Fang, because he didn't want my attack to go through to get Zeus. So I needed to destroy Chao Fang, otherwise Zeus couldn't be activated. Luckily, we both missed that, and he ends up using Droplets. So here, in this scenario, I'm very okay. I have Pengraph, I have Time Star. I'm in a very, very good scenario here. So in, over here, he's going to activate that. I activate Pengraph to pop both. I protect with Double Iris because uh, of Pen Call. He's going to end up bouncing that. And now at this point, uh, I, I need to get a little bit lucky here. All I need is him to, for him to not kill me. I have Joker. I have... Like, he can't do much at this point because he's out of some tennies. So we have to really... I just have to survive. If I survive, my Joker's going to search Harmonizing. I'm going to pen Joker. I'm going to have Pengraph. I'm going to have Double Iris. I'm going to have Scales. There's really nothing uh, he'll be able to do at that point. He backs his pop Pengraph. Doesn't draw anything good. He ends up special summoning this back. And then he recognizes that we can't do it. So I want to keep one thing in note here. That we just played through a Chao Feng Negate. A uh, Monster Negate a Banish 1, and a Pop 2, and a Droplets. That's six interruptions that we just played through with Pendulums. So if anyone thinks Pendulums can't go second, you just 
don't understand what you're talking about because pendulums are actually insane going second. Here, as you see my hand, it's a little disappointing because we open all of our ways to clear his board. Typically, you only want to see one or two. Then you just pen call the other one away. So a little unlucky there, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully, we could get something nice with souls. Maybe we could send Dark Ruler with souls. So really, we kind of only had two bad ones here. Uh, not much we could do with this. Uh, as you see, like, we, not much we could do here. I'm kind of hoping he bricked completely, but look at this. Look at this. It looked like he... Like, if you look at this, it looks like he bricked, right? Only one monster, two monsters. But they keep getting more and more and more. And I was going to get three big negates out here. Uh, luckily for us, it's enough for our sphere mode. But imagine we didn't have sphere mode. We would get absolutely destroyed. So, the other downside is that I don't have a real play. <laughs> That's another downside here with sphere mode. But nonetheless, obviously I'm going to sphere mode everything. And then I'm going to go souls. And souls is going to try and draw off the dark ruler. I end up drawing a dual alliance. And I'm perfect. I have pen call. This is fine. I saw earlier in the stream, earlier in the stream, I know I know he's playing strike in his deck. I know he's playing strike in his deck. So I end up searching double iris, the pendulum, both double iris and harmonizing. Uh, so if he ends up doing a huge brain, big brain play. There's a reason why Pax the YC is champ. Instead of striking my summon of harmonizing a double iris, leading up plays, what if I have a souls and a double iris play? He knows that pendulums don't have a play without two level fours or a tuner. So he ends up striking the effect of harmonizing just to make sure that I can't use the effect of double iris to search for pengraph. He's big brain, there's a reason why he's a YCS champ. So at this point I use Oath to add a follow-up and there's really nothing I can do. I just have to pray I survive this one. Like Tenny, it's a crazy deck, especially when he's playing traps, there's not much you could do there. He ends up shuffling back the double iris. He gets rid of that. At this point I recognize, you know what, looks like we lose this. But you know what, it's all good because it's game three coming up and we're going first. When we're going first, you already know that we always have a good chance of victory when we're going first. Unfortunately, look at our hand, guys. Our hand, oh my god. We have Brick! The very first Brick of our deck. So, instantly when you look at this Brick, you think to yourself, okay, I have no Harmonizing, I have no Extender. The only Extender I have is Tuning Magician, but I have Time Gazer, I don't have enough level fours. I don't have Sork, I don't have Joker. Uh, I don't have Pengraph, like, it's very tough hand. So what I'm gonna do here, very big brain play. I'm like really thinking here. A pack went out for a little bit, so I told him I'm gonna take my time to think this. There's so many ways to do this. One way to do it is going into Needle Fiber, adding Oath with Wisdom. And now in this scenario, you recognize I don't have any links in the graveyard, so I can't really Savage. But there's another play here that I could do where I go Dagda, I'm gonna show you guys right now. So the other play here is you go Dagda. And then once you go Dagda, you activate the effect of Tuning Magician to special summon back. And then after that, you go into Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber special back to Tuning Magician, and then you just link all three into Savage. And that's just definitely the best play to do it. If you guys saw how difficult that actually was, like a lot of people would have gotten Needle Fiber first, a lot of people would have Normal Summon Time Gazer, Special Tuning Magician first, then you go into Needle Fiber. But like, it, it, that was a very big brain play on how to end up with this. I understand I could have also Tornado popped my, my Double Iris, but then I wouldn't have the Scythe. All I'm trying to set up here is Needle Fiber pop Scythe, Savage Dragon negate any way he has to stop it. And because we're playing new format, I have Baronis the floor after with the Scythe and the and the the TG Wonder Magician. And I'm protecting my Scythe. If Scythe resolves against any deck that needs the extra deck, they auto lose. So when you guys play this deck, yes, Pengraph's insane. But don't prioritize the Pengraph. Prioritize setting up the artifact Scythe and a way to pop it. Whether it be Tornado Dragon, which is the best way, because Tornado Dragon will also pop the double iris and it'll play around Dark Ruler, but this way, at least, gives you a secret to negate, but you must protect it with some form of negate on top, like a savage. So, anyways, there's nothing he, he could do at this point because we know for a fact it's going to be Baronis. So we're going to end up taking the game over here. Uh, he couldn't actually play through, but there's nothing he could have done in this deck. And uh, Pendulum just best deck, guys. That's all I could say. Shout out to Pac. I want you guys to go subscribe to him if you haven't already. Uh, bro, Sword Soul is insane, but Pendulum Magician is just the best deck. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys got this far, I want you to smash the subscribe button, the like button. Make sure to check out the beautiful playmat, terrificgaming.com. Still got the Dragon Core playmat. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.